be still. Lord, our God, I come before you once more to offer to you my prayers. I have made my pleas to you again and again, and each moment I do, the more my faith increases that you are truly the God of life and of love. However, there are a number of times also that I fail to call on you, that I fail to love my neighbors, that I fail to keep my promises, that I fail to ask for pardon and to pardon others, that I fail to give thanks for all the blessings that come my way. And yet, in all these moments, you're ever present, O Lord, to remind me that you are just around, to take me back once more if I will but come to you. By meditating on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary, especially in this novena, in honor of the Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, may I be led to find your presence in my life as Mother Mary found it in her own life. In every mystery of my joy, in every mystery of my sorrow, in every mystery of my glory, may I be able to recognize your hand that I may know you. You are indeed Emmanuel, the God who is with us now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, fully grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The five glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
the ascension of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Descent of the Holy Spirit, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Litany and honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother most chaste, pray for us. Mother inviolate, pray for us. Mother undefiled, pray for us. Mother most amiable, pray for us. Mother most admirable, pray for us. Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. 
Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the covenant. Pray for us. Gate of heaven. Pray for us. Morning star. Pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us, refuge of sinners. Pray for us, solace of migrants. Pray for us, comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us, help of Christians. Pray for us, queen of angels. Pray for us, queen of patriarchs. Pray for us, queen of prophets. Pray for us, queen of apostles. Pray for us, queen of martyrs. Pray for us, queen of confessors. Pray for us, queen of virgins. Pray for us, queen of all saints. Pray for us, queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us, queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us, queen of the holy rosary. Pray for us, queen of peace. Pray for us, queen of the family. Pray for us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Extend, O Lord, to your servants your heavenly aid, that we may seek with all our hearts and obtain what we ask. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, and grant to our deceased associates the rest of heaven and to your church peace through the intercession of the glorious virgin mary and the merits of your son our lord jesus christ amen prayer to saint joseph behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the lord has set over his household the lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory he has clothed him in splendid garment let us pray. Almighty God, at the beginning of our salvation, when Mary conceived your son and brought him forth into the world, we place him under Joseph's watchful care. May his prayers still help your church to be an equally faithful guardian of your mysteries and a sign of Christ to mankind. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Act of contrition, my Lord Jesus Christ, true God and true man, my Father and Redeemer, I kneel in the presence of divine majesty, overcome with grief for having offended you, my God, so deserving of all my love. I believe in you, I trust you, and trusting in your infinite mercy, I hope to have my sins forgiven. With the help of your divine grace, I resolve to confess my sins and to start my life anew. Chastise me in this life, O Lord, but spare me in eternity. Help me make my life a worthy oblation to atone for all my sins and the sins of all men. During this novena to Mary, your mother, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, help me to know you better, to love you more fervently, to serve you with more dedication. Grant me the grace to live and persevere in your service until death. Amen. Prayer for every day of the Novena. O most clement virgin, O tenderest mother, O sweetest Mary, comforter of the afflicted and refuge of sinners, mediatrix between God and man. You are Noah's art, our salvation in the deludes of sin, or the rainbow of peace, a reconciliation with God. You are the dove that brings us the olive branch of peace. As a token of your maternal love, you gave to the Catholic world 
their son Dominic, the most holy rosary. To this devotion, pagans were converted, heretics brought back to the twofold, enemies of the church vanquished, and Christian society reformed. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, we call on you for assistance. You alone did overcome all heresies in the world. Deliver now your Christian people from the snares of the devil. Great was your love for this nation. For when the enemies of the Catholic religion threatened to take away our faith, you saved us miraculously through your intercession and thus secured for yourself the title of Queen and Mother of the Philippines. Look down with mercy on those who are deceived by the evil one. They may renounce their heresy and return to the unity of the Catholic truth. Illumine our rulers that under your guidance they may govern this land as worthy representatives of God. Inspire us all to study our religion, to fulfill the commandments, and to receive the sacraments, which are the essentials of true Christian life. As we became Christians through your intercession, we also hope to live as such under protection. With their rosary as our anchor, we hope to reach that heavenly kingdom where for all eternity we can have you as our queen and Christ our King. Amen. Special prayer for the third day. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Mother of Philippines, out of respect for authority, you went to Bethlehem, where you brought forth your son, our Lord Jesus Christ. It was a difficult road for you to follow, for you were the victim of the thoughtlessness of men. Instill in my heart sincere respect for authority, both civil and religious. Give me the strength to obey my superiors with promptness, supernatural motives, and joy. To those who are rude, help me to be meek. Teach me to be kind to others. Considerate in action, courteous in my words. Let me not be conquered by evil, nor by the desire for revenge. Let me conquer evil by doing good to my fellow men. Together with the shepherds and the kings, kneeling beside the crib at Bethlehem, let me learn from the newborn babe the lesson of meekness and humility. Let us now ask the particular favor we wish to obtain in this novena through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Final prayer for every day. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Refuge of the human race, we humbly prostrate ourselves before your throne, confident that we shall receive mercy grace, assistance, and protection, not through our own inadequate merits, but solely through the great goodness of your maternal heart. May the sight of the widespread material and moral destruction, the sufferings and sorrows of countless human beings move you to compassion. O Mother of mercy, obtain peace for us from God and procure for us those graces which prepare, establish, and assure that peace. Queen of peace, pray for us and give to the world and to the Philippines the peace for which we are all longing, the peace in the truth, justice, and charity of Christ. Lastly, O Queen of Heaven, as the Church and the entire human race are consecrated to the sacred heart of Jesus, so that, in reposing all hope in Him, He might become for them the pledge of victory and salvation. So we, in like manner, 
consecrate ourselves to you, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. You have chosen to raise your throne of mercy in Manawa, to be the beloved protectress and the patroness of the province of Pangasinan, and from this to bestow your graces on us, your children, banished in this valley of tears. Look down with your eyes of mercy upon us, who are beset with so many dangers of body and soul. Despise not our petitions, O dearest Mother, but intercede for us before your Divine Son, now and at the hour of our death. Please stand. Please stand.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, as we move together from day to day in our novena masses to honor the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, <coughs> our hearts are filled with joy knowing all the while that through the intercession of Mary, the mercy of God keeps pouring upon us. We are unworthy of those graces that we receive from the good Lord, but thanks to the intercession of the Blessed Mother, we find ourselves in favor of the good Lord, and we become recipient of that unending grace. Once more, we invoke His mercy, the mercy of God, as we ask the compassion and mercy to be shown to us in the forgiveness of our sins and offenses. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keeps the memory of the Holy Mother of God may with the help of her intercession rise up from our iniquities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, so they came back 
and reported. We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please stand. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the day came for the purification according to the law of Moses, they brought the baby up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be consecrated to God. And they offer the sacrifice as ordered in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. There lived in Jerusalem at this time a very upright and devout man named Simeon. The Holy Spirit was in him. He looked forward to the time when the Lord would comfort Israel, and he had been assured by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before seeing the Messiah of the Lord. So he was led into the temple by the Holy Spirit at the time the parents brought the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, Simeon took the child in his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, O Lord, you can dismiss your servant in peace, for you have fulfilled your word, and my eyes have seen your salvation, which you display for all the people to see. Here is the light you will reveal to the nation and the glory of your people Israel. His father and mother wondered at what was said about the child. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Know this, your son is a sign 
a sign established for the falling and rising of many in Israel, a sign of contradiction, and a sword will pierce your own soul, so, so that out of many hearts thoughts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess named Anna, daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. After leaving her father's home, she had been seven years with her husband, and since then she had been continually about the temple, serving God as a widow night and day, in fasting and prayer. She was now 84. Coming up at that time, she gave praise to God and spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. When the parents had fulfilled all that was required by the law of the Lord, they returned to their town, Nazareth, in Galilee. There the child grew in stature and strength and was filled with wisdom. The grace of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> Ang kababasa lamang nating ibanghelyo, mga kapatid at mga kaibigan, ang pinagbabasihan ng ating pagninilay-nilay sa ikaapat na misteryo sa tuwa ng Santo Rosario. Ang pag-aalay kay Kristo sa templo ayon sa batas ni Moses. Maraming katakatakang nangyari sa pag-aalay na yan. Isa dito, ay ang nangyari kay Simeon, isang dibotong mananampalataya sa Israel na kung kailan pa siya tumanda at nagdilim ang paningin, doon niya nakita ang ating Panginoon. At sinabi niya, nang makita niya yung bata, sinabi niya ito ang magiging liwanag. Liwanag ng mga bansa, liwanag ng mundo. Pero, ang katakataka doon, meron pa siyang dinagdag sa harapan ng ating Inang Maria. Sabi niya sa Inang Maria, itong anak mong ito, ang magiging palatandaan ng pagkakatulituligsa dito sa Israel. The sign of contradiction the sign of the rise and fall of many in Israel. Bakit nagkaganito? On the one hand, Jesus Christ was called by Simeon as the light of the nations. But on the other hand, he also called him the sign of contradiction. The reason for the rise and fall of many in Israel. Why? Bakit? Sapagkat alam ninyo, hindi lahat gusto ng liwanag. Sapagkat hindi lahat gusto makakita ng liwanag. Yung liwanag na yan eh, sumisimbolo sa katotohanan. Hindi lahat ng tao gusto makita at maipahayag ang katotohanan. Yung mga pangit, gusto laging brown out, black out, sapagkat kapag ka madilim, hindi mo makikita ang pagkakaiba kung sino ang pangit at kung sino maganda. Lahat maitim. Pero kapag ka maliwanag, kitang-kita mo yung pagkakaibang yan. Kung sino ang maganda, kung sino yung pangin. Eh yung liwanag, hindi nagsisinungaling yan. Hindi yan gustong manakit ng damdamin ng kapwa. Subalit, pinakikita lang kapag ka ikaw ay humarap sa liwanag kung ano ang tunay mong kulay, 
kung ikaw ay dilaw, pag humarap ka sa liwanag, lulutang yung pagkadilaw mo. Kung ikaw ay pula, ay lulutang yung pagkapula mo. Kung ikaw ay berde, lulutang yung pagkaberde mo. Ipakikita lang ng liwanag kung ano ang tunay mong katayuan. Hindi nagsisunungaling. Katotohanan lang. E nung dumating ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, siya'y liwanag. Pinakita kung ano yung katotohanan. E may mga taong pangit. Hindi ko sinasabing pangit yung muka. Pangit yung budhi. May mga tinatago. They are hiding skeletons in their closets. And when you are hiding skeletons in your closets, you hate that light be there in order to reveal those skeletons that you are hiding. Kaya nung dumating ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, may mga taong nalungkot. Hindi lang nalungkot, nagalit. Binalak na isang tabi, yung liwanag na yan. Patayin yung liwanag. Patayin yung liwanag. Sinikap nilang patayin yung liwanag. Eh, akala nila mapapatay nila yung liwanag. Pansamantala lang, pagkatapos na buhay na mag-uli, lalong nagliwanag, at nakita ang katotohanan. Alam nyo, kapag ka tayo, hindi humaharap sa liwanag, nasubok nyo na ba yun? Kapag ka may brown out sa lugar ninyo, magsisindi kayo ng kandila. Pag kayo tumalikod sa kandila na sinindihan nyo, gagawa kayo ng anino. Yung anino ninyo, higit pang malaki kaysa sa inyo. Pag kayo tumalikod sa liwanag, ang ginagawa nyo, anino. Na kahit anong gawin takbo nyo, susundan kayo susundan ng aninong yan. Eh madali lang naman mawala yung aninong kinatatakutan natin. Paano? Humarap ka uli sa liwanag. Pagharap mo sa liwanag. O, oh, ayan. Wala nang anino. Aaminin lang eh. Kapag ka hindi inamin eh, yung isang kasinungalingan eh, dadagdagan pa ng ikalawa, ikatatlo, ikaapat, hanggat mabaon do kayo sa mga aninong kinatatakutan natin. Ang gagawin mo lang naman ay yayakapin mo yung liwanag. Kaya, nung dumating ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, may mga taong ayaw yumakap sa liwanag. Nagalit! Pero may mga taong natuwa. Yung mga magaganda. O sino yung mga magagandang yun? Kaya isa riyan ang mahal na birhen. Ah, walang itinatago. Kaya nung dumating yung liwanag, uy, humarap sa liwanag. Oo. Lalong lumutang ang kagandahan ng mahal na birhen. Alam nyo itong si Saint Bernadette, nung tinatanong siya, hindi pa niya kilala na yung nagpakita sa kanya ay mahal na birhen. E tinanong siya ng ubispo para mapatutuhanan kung ano ang kanyang nakita sa Lourdes. Alam nyo, sabi ni Saint Bernadette, she's a very beautiful woman, a very beautiful lady. Ang mahal na birhen daw ay napakaganda na babae. At alam niyo ba kung bakit sa nahuhugot yung kagandahan ng ating Inang Maria? Hindi sa katawan lang. Sa espiritu at kaluluwa. 
punong-puno ng grasya. At kapag ka isang tao malinis ang kalooban, lumalabas na maganda. O hindi ba? Eh, kami mga pare, ano, kahit di kami nag-asawa, eh, humahanga rin kami sa kagandahan ng mga babae. No? Eh, meron mga babae, no? kapag ka nakita mo sa unang tingin, ang ganda-ganda. Pero kapag ka ikaw yung nakasalimuhan na at nakilala mo, na magaspang ang ugali, sa ikalawa at katatlong tingin, nawawala na yung pagkamaganda. Ano tawag mo doon? Antipatika. Hmm. Naiinis ka na. Kahit na maganda. Maganda ang labas, pero tingnan mo naman yung ugali. Kaya lumalayo ka na. Nagsasawa ka na agad. Para ka bang yung kumain ng adobo? Masarap ang adobo, pero kung puro taba, madali kang masuya. O kaya parang leche plan, kung umod ng tamis, madali kang sinukin. Isang kutsarita lang, ayaw mo na. O kaya pag tinignan mo na, ay maganda, pero eh, gaspang na ugali. Eh, parang ayaw mo nang lapitan. Pero may mga babae, nasasabihin natin, hindi naman ganun kaganda. She's not exactly pretty. Ang salita, she's charming. Charming. Bakit charming? Kahali-halina, charming. Magrasya. Nakikita mo yung magandang kalooban. Na kahit na hindi maganda yung labas, dahil pilit nagpupumiglas yung magandang kalooban. Sa tingin mong ganyan, kumaganda na rin. Kaya ang tawag mo, she's not exactly pretty but charming. Yung isa antipatika sapagkat nakakalito eh. Maganda yung labas. Pero yung loob, bulok. Ano ba ito? Tao o nicho? Nalilito ka. Maganda nga ba ito? Maganda yung labas pero mukha atang bulok yung loob. Ano to Tao o naglalakad na nicho? Pero yung isa, magaspang man yung labas. Pero merong magandang tinatago sa kanyang kalooban. O, tawag mo doon, charming. The Blessed Mother is full of grace. She's not only beautiful, she's full of grace. And that's the reason why she's beautiful. Kaya ngayon, Binibigyan ko kayo ng beauty tips, ano? whether you're a lady or a gentleman. No? Hindi na kayo kailangan magparoon ng cosmetic surgery. Linisin lang yung ating kalooban. E gaganda na tayo. Wala tayong dapat ikatakot sa liwanag. Bakit? Sapagkat wala tayong tinatagong bulok sa kalooban. May grasya na makikita. And that's the reason why the Blessed Virgin Mary is the most beautiful lady among the creatures of God. As Saint Bernadette has said, may we follow the beauty of the Blessed Virgin Mary rooted not in any artificial coloring or artificial means but in the purity of one's heart in the purity of one's nearness and relationship with God the beauty of grace o magsitayo po tayo para magdasal for every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For a courageous and loyal faith, which the Church needs, in the confusing circumstances of this time, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For resolute strength and perseverance, for all those who commit themselves 
to give peace to the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many whose faith is tested by adversity and suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many young people who are disappointed by the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the handicapped, for those dying this very hour, for dead people there to us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we ask you to pour upon us your grace so that like your Son, under the patronage of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may grow up not only in age but in wisdom and grace. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy life of love way of life through jesus christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints especially as we celebrate the memory of the blessed virgin mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us to her the author of our salvation, your Son Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. Jesus loves us and in his love for us he taught us to call his own father our father so we have, have the courage to say
hunger us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of Lamb of God. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. May I invite you now to join us in the Oratio Imperata. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingayen, Dagupan. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompany You accompanied your son in his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant to your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to the shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant to your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were the apostles in prayer in, on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant to your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you, the beloved disciple of the food of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to the priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant to your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your Son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians be informed to the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priests, sons, as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please but be seated for the word of thanks. The community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag would like to thank Reverend Father Enrico Gonzalez O.P., for presiding over the Novena Mass. Also, we would like to thank the choir, word proclaimers, Eucharistic ministers, altar servers, catechists, collectoras, and church greeters for actively participating in the Eucharistic celebration and in honoring the Blessed Mother. And finally, we thank you, our dear pilgrims, live stream participants, and all the sponsors of this Mass. May the care and the intercession of Apo Bakat, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, bring us closer to her Son, Jesus Christ. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join us as we pray for the blessing of the sick, then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.